Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I will be updating my guide for leveling cooking and becoming a master chef. This was a guide that I never honestly thought that I would ever update because cooking is one of those base skills that is so easy to max that I assumed everyone would have been done with it. But I've been getting a growing number of requests and messages from people asking if my old cooking guide was still usable. And of course it is not, but I had never bothered to look at it again. Well, it seems I'm gonna have to now. Due mostly, I think, to there being a growing number of new and returning players. So, let's just get into it. First, let's briefly look at why cooking in New World is so important. Well, cooking in New World allows players to cook foods that offer a huge variety of buffs. Foods that regenerate health and mana, increase your luck while gathering, increase your attributes in one or even two attributes, or even increase your gear score potential in items you're crafting using another trade skill. Cooking is also the trade skill that allows players to make dyes. These dyes can then be sold or used to personalize the color of your gear to how you like it, so that you and your company mates have matching sets, or just for fun, whatever. Cooking is definitely that one trade skill that is easy to max, but holds one of the highest potentials in terms of ability to make consistent coin. You won't get rich overnight using cooking, however the stuff you make will always sell, and depending on how much effort you are willing to put into it, this trade skill can be used to produce enough gold that you will never need to worry about coin again. So let's get into the leveling, shall we? Unlike with other trade skills, for this one I will provide you with a shopping list before we begin the leveling process. The reason for this is because many of the materials, again unlike other trade skills, will carry over to the next tier of training. So having them all on hand when you begin will make this go ridiculously fast. So you can either gather all of these now and prep for your training, or skip ahead to the section of your choosing. So if you have chosen to gather all of the materials before you begin, here's what you will need to have in terms of groceries to complete your cooking training. 373 corn. 345 red meat, 2,728 blueberries, 2,728 pork, 988 broccoli, 1,050 pork belly, and 1,050 honey. This list may seem daunting to a new player, but trust me, these will not take long to gather. The most difficult two are probably the honey and the pork belly. What I recommend here is to sell any unneeded byproducts that you get while farming, like the hides from the pigs for example and buy the honey and some of the pork bellies. This way it will go much, much faster. I won't go over where to farm each of these items and the desire to keep things short. However, I will link in the description a link to the New World resource map. If you look on there, you will see for each item that they have locations where they are in abundance, and you will have no problem farming them. I will also say before we begin cooking, always try to cook at your camp while training. We will be making simple recipes here and avoiding the taxes in town is always great. So if you cook at your camp, there's no taxes. Now that we have our foods, let's get cooking. From 1 to 50, here you will be making 345 travel rations. This will require 345 red meat and 345 corn. From 50 to 100, here we will be making 690 light meals. For this, we will need 690 blueberries as the required tier 2 food, and 690 corn, and of course 690 pork to complete. From 100 to 150, for this section, we will be making 988 satisfying meals. For this, we will be using 988 broccoli as our required tiered food, because it is really easy to farm, and 988 blueberries, 988 pork, and 988 corn. And from 150 to 200, for this section, there really is only one clear choice for tier food, and that is the pork belly. It is so easy to farm compared to all of the rest of the tier 5 foods. So we will be making 1,050 hearty meals. For this, we will need 1,050 pork belly, 1,050 blueberries, 1,050 pork, and 1,050 corn. And as our seasoning, the cheapest option by far will be 1,050 honey. And that's it, we're done. Very, very easy. So what's next now that we are 200 cooking? Well, you'll have some work ahead of you. As a fresh 200 cook, you will only have access to the base recipes, and you will want them all, especially the ones that offer 2,000 luck or plus 15 to the various trade skill. So first, you will want to gather these. These recipes can easily be purchased, of course, off the market. But if you enjoy finding things on your own, these are farmed from the various provision stockpiles around the map, so you will want to begin running those. These recipes can also now be found in the Cook Aptitude Crate, so I'm sure you will generate quite a few recipes on your own. You will also want your chef set. Unlike with other trade skills, food of course does not have gear score. So what the trade skill armor does here is increase your potential chance as well as the amount of the bonus items you get while crafting. Considering how easy it is to get cooking aptitude crates, I will suggest you probably farm it in that fashion. But if you are looking to get it from drops, you can get it from the following locations. The helm comes from Skysong Maiden Ping, 
found in the Skysong Temple in Evanscale Reach. For the chest, you will want to kill Viri Dolan the Rotbound, found in the internal pool in Reekwater. For the gloves, the Unhallowed Soul of Murkgaard, found in Old Murkgaard Forest in the Great Cleave. For the pants, you will want to kill Faye the Last Protector, found of course in Spryla Tower in the Shattered Mountains. And for the shoes, Pit Lord Dehi is who you'll want to farm, found in West Alerman in the Shattered Mountains. You will also want an earring with plus five cooking on it. These are ridiculously cheap, so save yourself some time and just grab one off the market. Cooking also has trophies much like any other trade skill, and once again these trophies work to increase your outcome when cooking items in terms of chance and amount of bonus items overall. Once you have all these things, and yes, you do want them all, you will then have the ability to craft huge amounts of bonus foods. And where this becomes important is when you're crafting certain foods with the very high value materials. Some dishes that are highly sought after have single ingredients that are over 200 to 300 coin. So being able to make three for the cost of one dishes from these will turn over a huge amount of coin and profits. Okay guys, that about covers cooking. I know, not the most exciting trade skill, but it is an important one, especially with the release of Brimstone Sand so near, and all of the amazing new cooking recipes that will come along with it. Also, do not forget about the Turculon event that is looming on the horizon. Being a setup cook during this event is huge coin. Okay guys, I hope this answered all of your questions you had about cooking. And as always guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.